I've always had a need to help the underserved. That's sort of how I've dedicated my professional life. It's a team of five part-time staff that are able to serve over a thousand people a year. We're only able to do that because we have law students and close to a hundred volunteer attorneys who assist us with that mission. We're all there kind of working towards this goal of lifting up people who haven't had that, the privilege and haven't had all of the breaks in life and we're pointing them in the direction of a good outcome. Our mission at CLP is really twofold. Of course, it's to help the clients um, and the community, but it's also to provide students with the tools they need to go and make a difference in the community after graduation. If you're interning under one type of attorney, you're only experiencing maybe one type of client, whereas here you're getting a wide range of people with different problems and different issues. After you've seen um, people going through evictions, people going through deportations, people's about to lose their jobs or being terminated and, and not having a place to live, I think once you see those issues, the law takes on a different meaning. You're actually interacting with clients, you're interacting with attorneys, you're interacting with your supervising attorney, you're coming up with solutions, you're not just kind of behind the scenes, you're, you're there working. Big part of this is being available to the community, showing them that we're not here for the money, we're here to help out and do as much as we can. You hear some, some tough stories and I think that's the other aspect of this is like we can serve as not only legal help but just like emotional support sometimes. I plan to take that um, into my career and help out pro bono and do everything I can to kind of open the community to coming back to the legal field and using us for assistance. Whether they're able to leave with their case resolved or not, they leave with a sense that, that their issue is important and that their lives matter.